uh, the future and uh, the future plays, and let's get after it. Canisius and Cleveland State will start us off. Again, we began the show talking Duke, Michigan State, Kansas, Kentucky. The show has such breadth and depth that we're going to go Canisius, Cleveland State to start things. The uh, Vikings of Cleveland State laying seven and a half. On the BetUS line, uh, over under at 145 and a half. Let us begin the discussion here with Corby Craig. What stood out about this game as the first one for you on the slate and an official play? Yes. Yeah, first off, this is the thing that I love about this show. It's like we're, we're giving absolute free reign to basically talk about whatever we want to talk about. Like you watch a lot of these shows, podcasts, et cetera. They talk about the Duke, Kansas, which is always fun. Like, and, and we try to get to those. But this is the nitty gritty of, of what makes college basketball great. Canisius, Cleveland State. I bet the under 145 and a half here, just like all around to start a show. That's what you're talking about. I love it. Cleveland State, a team, uh, I, I think this number has been pushed too high due to the fact that uh, just like a, a recent events type of outcome, you look at this Ohio game that they played on Saturday, they scored 160 points. There was only 66 possessions. Um, and so this is all defensive rebounding or offensive rebounding. This is all free throws. A game that plays 66 possessions, even if you shoot great, is in like the mid 140s at max. I, I, I don't think that this happens in, in many simulations at all. Um, and so to see that as like your most recent game, getting at 160, I think that pushed this number a little too high. Cleveland State, 300th in the nation in tempo. Their coach in the offseason talked. They said they want to learn how to play offense in the half court better than they did last year and then play defense at a high level on ball pressure in the half court. I think they could do that. Also, the big issue here for Canisius, this is their third away game in a row. Uh, They're fifth in the nation in three-point percentage, which is just like to do that versus Syracuse and St. Bonaventure, both on the road, by all means. That's as impressive as it can be. But uh, at some point, you have to imagine regression is coming. Where would it come? Uh, a third road game would make a lot of sense. But um, I, this is a really good Canisius team. I think they match up pretty well versus anybody. They, they have the talent – to, to stand in front, and apparently they can shoot threes. They're ninth in the nation in points per game from the three-point line. Uh, if they're not hitting, they're going to struggle, and um, I think this total is just a little too high, assuming that they are going to keep shooting it like they have been. All right, fair enough. Uh, Cleveland State with a couple of wins after an opening loss. Jeff Nadu to Duquesne by two. They beat Defiance. Some would describe you as Defiant. Defiance is a town in Ohio. It's also a school. They beat them by 60. They then beat Ohio, the Bobcats, by four. Any thoughts here, Jeff Nadeau, on Cleveland State hosting Canisius? Yeah, a couple of things about Canisius. And this is one of the thing. again, the problems with early season college basketball and people, you know, breaking it down or betting it or, or whatever you're doing. A lot of these numbers are skewed. When you look at really the, the numbers behind Canisius, they didn't shoot well at all in one game and shot really well in another. So that's why their average is 48% from three. That's not sustainable. That's not going to happen again. Throw in the fact that Taj Tavesky, their best player, is not going to play in this game, uh, according to multiple reports. So th that's not great. I mean, he shot the ball at 42% from three. was one of their bigger, most important players last year, a very important player to this roster. And when you have these types of groups, these mid, low major teams, and you take a player of this caliber off the team, all of a sudden, well, now it's it, it's it's really kind of an issue. Um, I was related back to to Flash, a guy who's on this uh, Bet US. He does soccer shows. Him and I used to do shows about the lower leagues in England years ago. We would talk about you know League One, League Two. He used to play in those leagues, and he would tell me how important certain one or two players are. And when you take them off, it's the same thing in college basketball. These types of teams just can't you can't deal with a loss like that. Throw right. in the fact that Cleveland State's not shot the ball. Uh, they they blistered as well. That's not likely to continue. The pace isn't going to be there. I thought this total would be like high 130s. The fact that it's in the 140s is kind of interesting. I felt like this was first to 70 wins. I like the under as well. Corby Craig, we're going to lock him in. He hit an under on Monday's show in the VMI South Carolina game. Pay attention, kids. He's on the under officially here again as we lock him in. Under 145 and a half for this game with Cleveland State and Canisius. 